Good morning, everyone. It's really great to be here uh, with, with Tao Hui um, to have a, a conversation really about his work. And just before we kind of go into the conversation, um, I just wanted to quickly foreground it with sort of why we're having it and what maybe some of the larger context is. Um, I know that our founder, uh, Guy Olins, just a moment ago made, re and, and Jean-Marc as well, and even Jerome also, uh, made reference to a sort of new generation of Chinese artists who are quite unlike um, this sort of stereotypical image that many people even still hold about uh, contemporary art in China, which is to say uh, they're resorting less to kind of overt political symbolism um, and Jean-Marc actually said to realism, although maybe that's something that we can debate in relation to Tao Hui's work. Um, and maybe more importantly, that they're kind of inherently uh, in sync with kind of a global conversation about the state of art really anywhere in the world. Um, and yet, of course, in so many of these artists' works, um, maybe China becomes not a, a sort of subset of subject matter, but rather a sort of a philosophical condition um, inside of which so much uh, unfolds. Um, at the UCCA earlier this year, we initiated a series called New Directions, uh, sort of homage to the famous American um, publishing operation of, of sort of mid-century that introduced many important European writers like Alain Aubry and others to an American public. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of following on a lot of efforts involving young artists really that go back to the moment of UCCA's founding. Um, maybe most notably, uh, my predecessor, Jerome, uh, who had a series called Curated By, in which certain established artists would pick uh, work, pick artists, younger artists, and sort of curate exhibitions of their work. Um, a sort of series of generational surveys, including Jerome's show Breaking Forecast in 2009, which put a generation, uh, including people like Yang Fudong, Cao Fei, Xu Zhen, uh, Liu Wei, uh, who are quite well known today, sort of on the stage for one of the first times. And then, of course, uh, On Off, which was an exhibition we uh, that I worked on at UCCA, uh, curated by the Chinese curators Bao Dong and Sun Dong Dong uh, in early 2013, uh, which was a 50 artist sort of generational survey. And unfortunately, we did not get to include Tao Hui's work in that show because he was maybe even younger than On Off, uh, which was itself kind of often compared to like a Chinese younger than Jesus. Um, and so uh, uh, we decided that it, rather than kind of trying to rush and do another one of these surveys, which are always so problematic, I mean, we see uh, the initial response to Greater New York, this edition around with people saying, oh, what are all these older artists doing in that show, um, that maybe the big, the big group show is not necessarily the way forward to present new voices. And so we thought it would be interesting to initiate this series which also has a publishing element and uh, sometimes as needed a commissioning element to uh, give the stage to individuals from this uh, new generation. And uh, Tao Hui is just, is only the second in this series, the first being He Xiang Yu, which happened earlier. And then actually next week, if anyone's in Beijing on the 29th, uh, we'll open with Li Ming, who will be the third. And we have three installations planned again for next year. And we anticipate this uh, series to run uh, for the foreseeable future as a kind of key element of uh, really our responsibility as an institution uh, to, the, to the new artists on the scene and to um, giving them a platform. And one of the most exciting things about our project, which actually is the first piece we'll talk about, was, was um, the opportunity to essentially commission and present um, this piece excessive for the first time as uh, a part of Tao Hui's exhibition, which, uh, which actually, in fact, just ended um, on Monday in Beijing, so it's, it's very good timing. He also um, has, was just informed last week that he won a major prize uh, from the people at SESC uh, in Brazil. Um, so it's, it's been quite a year. Uh, and, and of course, the presentation here and to come in as part of the exhibition that I'm currently working on with the curators at the Fondacion Louis Vuitton that will open in January of 2016. Um, okay, that is by way of a prologue. You don't have to translate it into Chinese. Um, it's okay. Um, we're actually going to have our conversation in Chinese. And yeah, so we have Nancy here who's uh, educated at Brown and is now studying arts management here in Paris who will translate from Chinese to English um, and will collaborate as necessary. 
uh, just because we think this is maybe the most efficient way, and we all apologize. Well, maybe not you, but I certainly for my lack of French. Um, okay, so now, how about now? We just start to talk. Well, it's really not good. Uh, but we're long time. Then, I think we should get into the details of each individual's work before we talk about it. Can we talk about your background and the start of making the work? And then, some of the basic ideas of creativity. Before we go into details about individual works, can we actually know a little bit about your background and also your initial um, inspirations in art? Uh, I was born in Chongqing, and I was born in the city of Chongqing. I was born in the city of Chongqing. 就是生活的环境就是在乡村，然后不是在城市。所以说，随着中国的发展，然后我们一步一步从乡村搬到县城，然后通过学习上大学，又从县城搬到更大的城市，然后大学毕业，然后又从重庆到了北京。所以说，它是从一个小地方逐渐一个迁移的过程。So I grew up in a small village near Yangjiang River, and uh, it's really a small village, but uh, since I went to school, so like it's a larger area, and then we're moving to even like larger areas in China. So it's kind of a movement within China, the urbanization. 然后我的创作其实跟我的经验有关系，就从小的生活经验，然后跟我的家庭的关系也比较大，然后就是这样。Um, so I base my work mainly on family experiences, um, uh, really on individual experiences. 嗯，大部分作品其实对我的影响，然后就是，呃，是那个电视，因为在小时候，然后家里就是，呃，第一个就是媒体，然后就是电视机，但是我们那时候电视机只能收到一个频道，所以说很多东西都是重复的看，然后你最后连放的那些电视剧你都可以背下来。The television is the biggest influence for me when I was younger, and uh, we only had one channel channel in the television. Um, but he can, but I can recall everything uh, that's showed in on TV. 嗯，所以说就是呃，就是这种大大众的媒介，包括电视机，然后杂志、报纸，然后对我们这一代艺术家的影响都挺大的，我觉得。Um, so really, uh, social media had a huge impact on us, including TV and uh, newspapers. Uh, yeah. um, so uh, I was born in 1987. Thank you. 这个就是这个学习 um, So I started learning fine arts when I was in high school. The stereotypical idea about learning art makes it easier to go to college. Um, it's really the stereotype in China. So um, my original idea was to study TV and filmmaking. However, I didn't do really well in the college entrance exam. So I had to study fine art uh, in college. 你也反复的讲过，就是呃呃，故事对你的一个重要性。呃 ，You've repeatedly said that story is so important to you。因为我是觉得我对我自己的创作有有一个就是有一个怀疑，因为我发现我们这一代，然后是图像的一代，就是从小的生活经验都跟图像有关，就电视，然后杂志，然后到后来的电脑。跟就我父母的那一代很不一样，他们大部分是就是受过一个文字的影响比较大，所以他们的逻辑就是
比较严密，然后我们的逻辑就比较碎片化。所以说我就是选择故事这个行，就这个媒介，是因为我觉得，然后可能我需要一个就是更线性的东西，然后来支撑我的创作。Um, so I, um, I have doubts on my creativity because I think my generation is really the generation from the image. So the image generation, whereas my parents' generation is from literature. So I think their logic is more clear, as, uh, whereas our logic is more fragmented. Uh, therefore, I would like to use uh, the language and film to, to really make sense of what I experienced. 我觉得我们可以继续进入到这是一个很好的这种过渡，呃，这个遥控器在哪里啊？哦，在后面。Can we have the next slide, please? OK， 呃，这个应该是你就是呃刚才在我们的展览上第一次呃播放的一个一个作品，然后对，你可以简单的就是介绍一下，我觉得。嗯、呃，这个作品其实它是有一个故事的架构，然后它是讲了一个家庭里，然后就是爸爸妈妈是亲兄妹，然后他们结婚，然后生了一个女儿，然后女儿就是，呃，有畸形产生，然后就有六根手指。Um, so the the story is really a family story. It's based on two parents. Um, they got married, whereas they were actually siblings. And then they give birth to a girl who actually has a six fingers. And we can see the next slide, please. 嗯，然后他就是有六根手指，所以说他妈妈对他第六根手指很反感。然后他。觉得这根多余的手指是对他们这种就是违背伦理道德的一种见证。Um, because she has six fingers, um, the daughter has six fingers. Therefore, the mom has a disgust feeling towards her daughter, and she thinks that is really the evidence of their immoral ma marriage. 嗯，然后但是爸爸然后觉得是可以接受的，所以说他们在家庭里这三个人物，然后他们每个人都有不同的想法。然后最终，这个女儿为了就是成全妈妈，然后不让让妈妈觉得就是，呃，就是有一种良心的负担，然后她就主动把那个手指给切掉了。Uh, however, the dad accepted at the beginning, whereas um, um, the the three different family members have different opinions towards this. Um, however, at last, the daughter wanted to really please her mom. Um, therefore, she cut her extra finger uh, herself. Uh, I think this work is actually there are two points to discuss. One is that in the context and in the plot, it actually uses a lot of the language of this kind of TV show, 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 this kind of T
，然后他那个内容是关于一个家庭伦理道德的讨论，是因为这种东西对我的生活经验来中就是太常见了，因为特别是在中国的南部地方，然后就是这种家庭带给就是人类的伤害，我觉得是最大的，就是呃，感觉就是他是。我们那那些人的一个痛苦的来源。Um, so the content is a family moral story, especially in southern China. It's really a severe problem for the generations because the family actually hurt the people、um, and burden the people within the family. Let's see the next slide. 然后，其实，在这个展览的这个。布置上，呃，最后就是你有一个屏幕墙是展现这个主要的作品，但是旁边还有一个小装置。其实这个是一个盒子，里面放的是一个，就是这个被切掉的手指。Uh, so in the installation of the piece, actually in front of the screen, there is this box and has the、um, excessive finger, the the sixth finger, actually within the box. 然后它被烧掉了的一个状态，是吧？ Uh, and then it was actually、um, the 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 fire.、Um, yeah, no, it's there's actually a digital screen in front of it with a flame. So you actually you see the sixth finger in this、uh, sort of white box here, aside from the the projection, not the projection, but the screen wall that shows the the video. So, 就是说，其实是因为我觉得你在很多其他的作品当中也是一个就是这种 moving image， 就是这种呃录像成像的这种。以及这种如何用一些呃恰当的物品，或者是呃具有某种呃雕塑的特性的一些一些东西来，也不是补充，可能是产生一种一种呼应的关系。Um, so I see. Actually, a lot of your works have this kind of moving image,、um, such as sculptures as well, to really correspond with your videos. 嗯，因为对我来说，就是单纯的视频呈现，它是一个就是很平面的东西。然后我需需要就是把观众从这种比较抽象的画面当中，然后又跟现实拉近距离。所以说，我就放置了很多实物的装置，然后我希望他们在之间找到一种平衡。Uh, because I feel like screen is really too vague to convey the meaning of the story. There, it's too flat. Therefore, I'm trying to find a balance between the reality and the、uh, vagueness of my work. I want it to it to be like re, re, more um, um, more, more correlate to reality. Uh, you think this story has a ending? Is the end of this story happy or not? Happy 还是不 happy 的，到最后。其实我觉得它就是一个每个人就是对生活的一种妥协，它谈不上好或者是不好，但是最终很多人都会妥协。嗯、um, ，The question is, what do you think of the ending? Is it a happy ending or a sad ending? And the answer is, I don't think it's necessarily sad or happy. I think it's a compromise. People have to make compromise in their lives. Okay, next image.、Uh, see another.、Yeah. 嗯，然后这个作品其实我是把那个就是内容当做我自己的一个素材，我是先拍摄了一个就是像一个很俗气电视剧架构的一个东西，但是它有旁白，然后那旁白其实就是我自己对我自己拍摄的这个素材的一个分析，我觉得那个才是这个作品最核心的东西。Um, for this art piece,、um, I videotaped a TV screen,、um, and then I used that as the material of my art piece, and then I analyzed that work piece. So I think the most important part is to analyze what actually as materials before. Because this background is my observation of the TV screen as a representation of the characters. Right, OK. Yeah. No. Basically, the idea is that you he shot something that looked like a TV show,、uh, a, a very traditional TV show, and then there was a voiceover that was recorded separately, and then creating the relation between those was actually where the creative process happened,、uh, finding the alchemy. Next slide. 然后 ，Yeah. 然后我觉得其实就是其实你应该是说呃多余这个作品可能是这件作品的一个一个连续还是不是？哦，演技较强。OK. 但是这个其实也是也是也是含有一些
类似的因素，就比如说对一个呃小城发生的一个故事的一个一个分析，然后也是也是就是形成了一个视频和雕塑之间的一个呼应，然后呃对，但是这个可能就稍微的不一样的是，其实它的图像跟它的文字可能是完全没有关系的，或者是 next slide。So previously on that piece, um, it's actually a continuation of his previous pieces. Um, whereas, however, the uh, dialogue, uh, however, the over voiceover is has nothing to do with the content. It, they're completely separated. And we're actually going backward in time as we go through the presentation. The previous piece. 呃，这个作品，然后其实最重要的东西，我觉得是我对就是叙事方法的，就是一种就是探索。因为一般的我的作品肯定都是比较线性的叙事，然后这个东西我就想尝试一种就是不太一样的方式，我把它七段的顺序都打乱了，然后所以说每次观众看到的那个呃就是顺序会不一样，所以说每个观众看到的故事也会不一样。嗯、um, ，this story is actually a study of the narratives, uh, how to actually put different pieces into different storylines. Uh, so every time when the audience go to see the piece, it has different sequences uh, within the seven stories. This title is also in relation to this Pilandolo, right? Italy's this... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, next slide. 然后这个麦克风就是那个黑色盒子里，然后我是想就是通过这种布置，然后就是呈现一个不在场的人的那种效果，因为这个声音是从这个盒子里发射出来的。So the microphone is actually in the black box, and uh, he was trying to uh, convey an idea of when there's nobody there, but the voice is from the the box itself. So he wanted to show that um, there's actually the mechanical audience still there. Because his voice is a dead person, a dead uh, because the voice is about a dead person and he's trying to describe uh, his life when he was still alive. He讲的这个内容呢,简单的就是分享一下嘛。他讲的那个内容是一个就是从小城市,然后到大城市上学的一个女性,然后他在大城市获得了成功,但是他的那个心灵上,然后就觉得 呃，就介于在城市跟乡村之间徘徊的那一种感觉，所以他想回到乡村，然后他回到乡村以后，发现乡村也已经不属于他了，所以说他就在两边挣扎。Um, the story is about uh, this woman sh who grew up in a small city and gained success in a large city. However, she still misses home very much. Therefore, she returned to her hometown. Uh, however, she still feels that there is a lack of belonging over there. 然后他在那个乡村，然后最后跟一个人，哦，跟他学生结婚，但是没有获得很好的结果。然后最后他在那个江边，然后意外，然后坠入那个长江，然后淹死了。嗯，and then she got married to her one of her students, uh, but then the result wasn't really pleasant. Uh, at the end, she actually jumped. Uh, she accidentally uh, fall into the river and died. In the river. Yeah, I think here, actually, actually, these pieces can be raised as a question. Is it possible to put these pieces into a global context? It actually is going to spread a lot of information about the Chinese peasant society. Of course, this is not your main aim. But I think what is interesting is that, if you can hear it, it is possible to learn something. It is possible to learn things. 就是关于可能这就是这种，呃，类似于文学的这个这么一个作用，我觉得其实，在很很少在当代艺术语境呃里面能能能看到。I think we can really um see here that it's all about the grassroots people and uh, it's kind of addressing this uh, the social problems into a literature style. It has really some 
valuable educational values. 我是觉得故事，然后是很有力量的，对我来说。所以说，我觉得我的作品，我之前就是因为算是半路出家，就是开开始接触那个当代艺术。所以说，我觉得对我来说，那些艺术的形式，就是现有的形式，对我是不构成任何威胁，或者我会把它作为一个标准。我所有的东西，首先是肯定是以经验先出发。所以说我作品它的那个核心部分，可能都是跟我。自己最有关系，然后就是跟我最亲密的一些东西，所以说故事，然后我就顺其自然把它作为了我一个作品很重要的元素。Uh, the stories are the most important element for my creation. Um, for video, I started not at the very beginning. Uh, however, I choose the media that I think I'm most comfortable with, and it's also a very intimate media for me. Therefore, I can um, express myself from my personal experiences. Next slide. Mm -hmm, that's just how it looked. Next slide. Yeah, again. Again. Keep going. Oh. Uh, 其实这件就是可能跟呃前面讲的这些有一些不一样，也就是你去年你去到伊朗，呃，进行拍摄的一件作品，是吧？ So this um, this piece of work is actually a little different from the previous ones because you actually went to Iran for the shooting. 对，然后这个作品是我在伊朗，然后待了一个月，然后最后做了一个创作。它其实故事是来自于，呃，中国很有名的一个歌星叫梅艳芳，在她死之前最后一场演唱会上，然后对她歌迷的一个对话。Um, so actually, we went to Iran State one month for this video. Um, the storyline is about this famous singer Mei Yanfang. Um, she had her last uh, show, and then the dialogue is really what she said to her audience before her death. Uh, so the question was, uh, did you implant the story to a uh, woman in Iran? So implant means like transferring the story, the Chinese singer's story to this Iranian woman. And then the question is, yes, because uh, it's rarely seen in Iran that there are actually female singers uh, in public spaces. 呃，因为其实这个它还是一个故事，是梅艳芳，然后就是对自己一个婚姻态度的考虑。就她是之前就一直没有结婚，其实她很想结婚，所以说我就想把就是一个故事放在就是不同地区的一个另外一个人的身上，然后看他们会发生什么样的反应。Mm, so the story is about um, Mei Yanfang, the Chinese singer. Um, she uh, she questions about marriage and her attitude towards being married. Actually, she really wanted to get married, but sh then she didn't. So the story is really about how to introduce a foreign figure and then put the um, another story into this person's life. Uh, next. I think this work, yeah, this work is actually on view at the fair here, so uh, you can have a chance. Next. Next. I think maybe this is what we can talk about the last one, because it doesn't have much time left. Mm -hmm. So we'll just talk about this one, one further piece, which was uh, also realized just in time, oh, OK, uh, last year. 这是一四年的作品，对，嗯，然后这个作品是来源其实是一次我跟我妈妈的对话，然后因为我妈妈是一个就是比较戏剧化的人，然后我就跟她说，我说你不要太戏剧化，我说生活不是这样的，然后我说你不要看太多的电视剧，然后我妈妈说，她说
呃，我说你不要模仿电视剧。我妈妈说我没有模仿电视剧，只是电视剧在拍我而已。Um, so actually, this um, story, um, this art piece is from a conversation between me and my mom. Um, I told my mom not to be really dramatic or even to mimic what the um, soap opera has presented. Yet her, uh, my mom said it's actually not the soap opera was mimicking me. It's actually um, they are screening my life. Then I thought, a c t u a l l 真实的生活中，其实很多人就是，就是这种现实生活中的表演，它就是一直存在的。然后我就发现，我妈妈就是，就算她没有那种特别夸张的表演，就特别夸张的模仿电视剧，就算她安静的时候，她也是在表演，就是她，就是安静的那种皮肤感觉都是有情绪的。Um, actually, we're all acting in life. Uh, for example, my mom, like even sh uh, she's not talking at all. She's re being really quiet. Her skin can act as factors, as elements, uh, showing that she's actually acting. So, so I'm just in, just in studying, and then just in the real life, these people, just different fields, just different fields, different fields, different fields, different fields, different fields, different fields, 生活中，然后是如何去表演的？所以说，我就就是研究了一下，就是关于这种表演的一些课程，我看他们是如何去，就是去在现实当现现实生活当中去做那种就是很夸张的表演，或者就是跟现实不太就是匹配的表演。Um, Next slide. Oh, sorry. So I studied uh, people um, actually in real life with different occupations, and then I studied some acting classes to see how actually they acted in real life without uh, realizing their acting. So I asked nine people from different fields, that is, acting lovers, and they are all travelers. 然后我就，而且里边安排了一个就是摄像跟一个录音的一个角色，其实他们都是在表演。然后我是想呈现出一种就是一个场景，而不是一个就是一个像像电影或者像电视剧一样的东西。我是一个记录。Um, so I invited 13 women who really loves acting to actually be in a scenario where they have professional uh, video filmmakers um, and uh, people who are following them to show that there's actually it's a stage to, to act. Then there, and then uh, within the film, I inserted a lot of very exaggerated emotions. Then, is the one you see on the upper right side. Then, the one with the fire burning. That is actually the one who is playing the wife. Then, he is standing in the performance. 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 然后把这个人烧掉，然后看大家是一种什么样的情绪，是一种什么样的表演。Um, the the woman who's covered in fire was actually um acting as a pregnant uh, pregnant woman in the scene, and then the woman who has the white hair is actually the teacher, and she decided to burn the pregnant woman and see how the audience would react, see how the the other um. Twelve women in the acting scene would react. So, in the part, his acting is very real, some is fake, some is made up. So, I, including the subsequent work, is always in the mix of real and fake, and there is a balance. I don't need, I don't want the audience to look at it and feel that the acting is real, or that the acting is fake. I want them to be in the middle position. Um, so, some of my work, some of the pieces in this work are. Really realistic, and others are kind of fake. However, I don't want the audience to um, already have the idea whether this is based on a real story or not. I want to really choose between, uh, in between the uh, realism and uh, a invented scene. 我们，嗯，比如说现在那个看到的那个火，它其实是跟中国现在很多那种。
电视剧很有关系，就是做那种很很假的特效。所以说我其实这个也是在对那个电视剧的一种模仿。Uh, for example, here the fire we see is really fake. Um, it's kind of like I'm mimicking what's going on in the soap opera in China, so introducing some really fake elements. Um, we time is actually almost up. And I just want to ask you, uh, I don't know, these two days there was a conference in Pompeii, a museum called Dominic Gonzalez Forster. And I don't know if you've heard of this museum, or if you've heard of it, or if you've heard of it, or if you've heard of it. 没有，因为我我最早看到你的作品，我就想的，其实就就一看就想到他，因为其实就包括旁白，包括这种真实虚假之间这些，呃，我觉得其实当然就隔了几代，然后其实区别特别大，但是我觉得你正好在巴黎，其实也可以去去看一下他那个展览。Um, um, you can go to the show in Pompidou because I uh, your style really. Rem remember reminds me of this artist Dominique and all. Although they were several generations away, um, yet there are a lot of similarities. Maybe you can visit the show if you have time. No, thank you for sharing today. Uh, give give us share. You, 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 Uh, thanks so much for sharing today, and uh, we we really learned a lot, especially your initial uh, inspirations, and uh, those inspirations are very very original, and that's very valuable to us. Thank you, everyone.